today. Go on, tell him. It was, it was absolutely dire to start with in the start sector, and we got to cloud base, just started straight away. Um, got down to 2,000 feet under complete murk and grot. Yep. Big detour off track, and got to a little bit of sun and climbed away in about three and a half knots. And then we met up with Mark Holden, who was the guy who was third. I couldn't, we were lying second going into the day. We couldn't catch first. So we met up with the guy, Mark Holden, who was second, a third of the way around the trip, and shamefully just sat on his tail. He's going to be really, really annoyed. If I was him, I'd be annoyed. He won't be annoyed because he knows what the game is. So we just played fantastic We had to game. do it. We had to do it. Went all the way around with him, and uh, that was that, really. Didn't find a single thermal for ourselves after that first well. time. It was, it, was tactical, gaggle, it was tactical, it? it was blue and tactical. But he did, his man flew brilliantly though, all week. Cheers, Rodders. It's a, Thanks for the glider. A day. Pleasure. Pleasure. It's sort of a compass, contents of sort of attrition. You've got to work at it every day. Yeah, yeah. Just Hard keep work. that place, try and move Much forward. Yeah. Yeah. Well done. Honestly, didn't expect to get back. Um, I think every, along with everyone else, we were very sceptical. So when we crossed the start line, um, the, it was just being as careful as you could. Um, just flying as slowly as you could. Um, and, uh, uh, but when we actually reached Barry St. Hedman, suddenly the whole weather changed. We got on the edge of the cloud and suddenly the thermals became good. Um, and we went round the two, the next turning point, uh, and the next two turning points uh, in good weather. And then we had a long climb, a glide uh, back across the, the layer of cloud that was in the start I thought that's what um, you was nearly 30 kilometers without <laughs> anything moving in the air at all and suddenly you get to the edge of the sun again um, and um, at Ely um, we were down to about 800 foot at Ely um, and then slowly pulled our way back up again for a fast finish in the end we, uh, there was lift all the way in on the end so an excellent last day <laughs> And the sun was just breaking through and we just wobbled about in two knots and then suddenly the sun opened up and then it was four, six knots and then we're home. But overall, wonderful. And about five thermals only. Believe it or not, it might be six. That's how it was done today. But led by this man with the soft hands. He calls me a soft hand. Yeah, well, you, you know, I, I'm a bit more ragged, but this man is very soft in the controls. And of course, that means that you haven't got so much movement on all the controls hanging out. And that's drag. I'm a drag to him this week, but there you go. I'm going to do a bit of that. It's been a good week.